Okay, another week, another hacker replay. We are very close to number 100. People were asking me what I sh what I'm going to do for number 100. This is number 95, so we got five more weeks until 100. And people were asking if I can bring back the sexy cop outfit for number 100, but I, I won't do that shit for free. So maybe I'll do like a a like goal or something on number 99. If we reach like 10,000 likes, I'll wear the sexy cop outfit or some shit. And don't forget, the offer still stands. If we manage to get 10,000 subs on Twitch, I will cosplay as the 2B Yana Elite skin. So go ahead and sub. It's free with Twitch Prime. Uh, but in the meantime, we have five matches to watch. First one is on the 22nd. It could be either one of these. In this ma match, we have X Denden -den Mushy, who is accusing two people. One on his team, and one on the enemy team. So the one on his team that's being accused is that rad man. And the one on the enemy team that's being accused is Ohana Numeo. So we have probably a case of hacker versus hacker. Okay, we'll watch the first round, then you guys can predict which cheater wins. That is assuming that they are actually both cheating. I feel like if someone submits with two of them though, I feel like they're gonna be pretty obvious. Okay, that guy actually lost his drone, which means you're doing more than your typical hacker. That Radman is struggling to put down shields and make rotates. We'll watch Osa first since attackers have initiative. Okay. They just toggled. We will cancel the prediction if it turns out one of these two are not cheating, but I feel like it should be fairly obvious off the bat. Hold on, I just want to point one thing out. There are four of them in Attic. What are they all doing up here? They're trying to break the hatch using their guns. Okay. What? Oh, there's a zombie there. All five are over by Master. Okay, so this guy's cheating. He's eyeing them up through the wall. Okay. Good pre fires. So far, I haven't really seen proof of this person cheating. They're playing incredibly passively. So maybe we'll do a prediction once we get proof that they are, in fact, cheating. Maybe we'll keep watching. Because, uh, I know hackers come in all shapes and sizes, but they were watching this, and the frost just peeked through the giant hole and killed them. So we'll wait till we get proof that Osa's cheating, and then we'll do a prediction. Because maybe they, they toggle on. Maybe they're like, oh, this person is cheating. I'm going to start cheating. We got proof that Radman is. He was pre-firing them or pre-lining them up through the walls. 
We don't need to watch more of him. We'll just watch Ohana no Meo. And we'll do prediction after we get proof. Because I don't... So far, this person doesn't look like they're cheating. I'm not going to do a prediction if they're not cheating. I mean, we can still do a prediction of which team wins. It goes to overtime. But I want to know if it's hacker versus hacker first. They're down to 1 HP from fire and smoke. I wonder if this is going to be the trigger point. So, smoke clearly walling. I think runs out and just lines them up through the wall. Kinda. This person does not look like they're cheating. They look like they're just lost. Now they go nomad. Radman got two 4Ks back to back. Reminds me yesterday when I had dropped 13 kills and my team was just dying. What did I just watch? Was that supposed to be an attempt to counter the peak? Thanks for sub Dairy Baka. So why did they accuse this person of cheating? There has to be something that they did. Something somewhere. Some why. Let me actually go back and see that. They killed Radman. I don't know how he died there. If he has walls, he should have known. And if this guy is cheating, he is drowning a lot for a cheater. This will be really interesting to see though if they do start toggling because then we get to see what they're like without cheats and then we get to see what they're like with cheats. And there's gonna be a huge skill jump. The drone has gone silent. He's still droning. Okay, still zero kills. Cheater dies to him and calls him a cheater, but he didn't die to the other person who's accused of cheating. So unless he dies much later to him. I don't see that happening. This guy seems very lost. The only thing I can think of... Is it possible that he meant the Ohana Kugelfang guy and then said he said Ohana Nemeo? On, in the document, he specifically said this guy. So I'm gonna assume not, but... Maybe the other Ohana guy is the one cheating and the guy submitted the wrong information. What is his reaction time gonna be like on this Ash? If Ash ever actually swings the hole. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go watch the other Ohana guy this round, because I am very confused as to how this guy is being accused. He hip fire chest shots, but then misses the next two shots and lands a headshot.
Let's just jump in below. But Aruni has no idea. Doesn't understand vertical audio. Where is he looking? <laughs> Damn. Okay, this guy's not cheating either. So, I don't know what the Ohana Numeo guy does to get accused of cheating, but we're gonna keep watching. Both of them look lost. Yeah, I'm not really sure how either of them could be accused of cheating. So, Ohana Numeo was the one that got accused of cheating. He's 0 and 3 with 0 assists. And staring at a wall, now staring at a corner. Okay. Hmm. He seems a lot more aware now. I want to make sure that Radman is still cheating. Probably still is. Actually, he's getting pings. Hmm. Round six. I still don't really have proof that the Ohana guy is cheating. Like you said, bad people hack, maybe toggle. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for him to toggle. He seemed a lot more aware that round. He looked at the one in freezer, then looked at the one at main stairs, and looked back at the one in freezer, and then was ready for the crouch uh, peak. And then he also was ready for Ash, but then Ash is the other accused cheater who then pre-fired him. But I would have an incredibly hard time saying this guy is... A suspicious player when he is one and four. And now he's just like bot walking around. He is just staring at the corner of the room. What could you possibly accomplish by doing this? He is counter accused by a cheater Ash. But why would someone who is submitting a match about their own teammate cheating be like, hmm, this guy is also cheating? If, like, if I have a cheater on my team, he's like, yeah, I'm cheating because Ohana Nameo is also cheating. And be like, but he's one and four. And he's done nothing suspicious. Like, I just wouldn't believe that. He spent the entire round just sitting in a corner staring at nothing. He's back in his corner. Just, just hanging out. This time with a little ass in his face. I wonder if I go to last round if this guy just has still one kill, because he is still just at one kill. He's still at one kill. Okay, there's no way. He must have meant to report Ohana Kugelfang, but we already watched Ohana Kugelfang. He's not cheating. Radman, I'll say, is cheating. So no prediction, because I guess they fucked up their submission. I'll watch all three in this last round. Whenever any of them get a kill, I'll switch to them. Okay. Yep, that guy is definitely not cheating. Let's watch oh, other Ohana. Because like that felt like a bronze or copper player. and He ended the game 1-7, and seven, so there's no way he meant to accuse him. And Radman's on the left, or on the right here.
I mean, I didn't really get any confirmation there 100%, but you can kind of tell he's cheating because right there, he knew not to peek the Malus or what's her name? Uh, Aruni, and waited for his teammate to swing from behind and then just ran through sight without checking a single thing. He just knows that this is where the last enemy is before it got pinged on a drone. So, Radman cheating, these two not cheating. I assume he meant to accuse the other Ohana guy and still not cheating, like I still seem lost. Uh, that Radman. He is currently in gold 3 with a 1.77 KD. Uh, previously a plat slash gold with a negative KD, 0 0.79, 0 0.96. One season had a positive KD, negative the next two, and then now positive again, but significantly more positive than before. Granted, if he was plant before, he's somehow now facing, like, what look like copper players. This person... Okay, if this is not proof that the new rank system's garbage, but also, I mean, I guess it also proves the old rank system was garbage. The guy that we've been watching this entire game... Ohana Numeo, who just sat in a corner and did nothing, is a platinum player. That is what plat apparently looks like. And this guy is also plat slash gold. Damn. Uh, so Radman cheating, Ohana Numeo not cheating. I'm gonna hope that Radman actually did end up to be cheating. We only watched two rounds of him, but he was just like lining them up through the wall. I think that's pretty cut and dry uh we have afk jerry who is accusing chunky chonka in the six round stadium match it would not surprise me if they're cheating because let's be honest here which one of us hasn't thought about activating cheats just to get over a stadium match because while i didn't mind this map at the beginning the more i've played it the more i've realized how fucking terrible it is it has like the worst properties of border Mixed with coastline, but not even like the best parts of coastline. Whole team is just entering gunfights and they're trying to get on top of the desk. Ranked really did get botched when it became rank 2.0. Yep. I mean, it wasn't great to begin with, but it became significantly worse after. What's he looking at? He hasn't checked anywhere he needs to check. He's just only looking at them through the wall. And then dies. Okay. This is going to be another submission where the person who gets accused goes like 1 in 7. I wonder if that's why they got accused. They pre-fired at head level through a wall on the submitter. Stop making buggy sounds. So far, uh, they haven't uh, submitted the, the report yet. It'll pop up in the top right saying... Oh, there it is. So he reported him because of that. So, Mozzie's peeking over here, Mozzie kills that person, Thatcher I think it is, and then Valkyrie's like, alright, I'll just pre-fire head level over there, gets a kill. Mm, probably not cheating. We'll see if he does anything else weird. Which, by the way, if this is a champ lobby, Dokubi and Clash ban followed up by an Osa and Capcan ban. Maybe it is champ, but maybe it's just console and somehow they submitted the match. seem to expect any of the people there. Okay. Don't know what they're doing there. Oh, face down, ass up position. Let's go. What? 
Hold on. Was that was a headshot? Pre-fire is aiming way off target. Their aim is currently right here. And they got a headshot. How is this a headshot? Someone make it make sense. The only thing I can think of is ping, but we don't really see that in match replay. Hitbox glitch? There is no hitbox glitch. There is a cheat where no matter where you shoot, it'll hit them. And that's the only thing I could think of that they would be doing here, but... That was a very... Weird instance, because it hasn't happened yet. He has one bullet left in his bearing nine. You'd be able to hear them walking upstairs. It's pretty loud. It's on metal. Doesn't matter. Sun Kool Aid killed him. There's someone on his left, and I don't know if he knows that. He looked over there and then just didn't care. I think if he were cheating, he would have peeked the guy on the left in the hallway, and then here he would be. A little bit more in the know of where people are as opposed to just staring at random corners. Yeah, he pre-fired a corner with nobody there and then died to an angle that someone was holding. And it's not like it was a 5v1 so he's just throwing to make it look like he's terrible. Like that was a 3v2 turning into a 2v2. That was not the exact... He said there's something suspicious in this round. He said at 236, he tracks the frost. Oh, before that. Like 238. Okay, so I can kind of get what he's saying. So if you watch this carefully, when he's like moving, it does look like his cursor is just stuck on the frost and he moves past. So watch. It's hard to describe, but... So he's swinging, so his body's moving to the right, his aim is moving to the left. Left, left, and then it just stops on him, stays on him, and then left, left, left. And the entire rest of the time he peeks, if he does stop on something, it's only for like a portion of a second, and there it was like he was stuck on him. So I kind of get what he's trying to say, but I don't know if, like, he hasn't really done much else to constitute hacking, so that would seem... Like such a weird conclusion to draw on just that, but it does stick on him. But his one previous kill also looked like it was lag related, so it's possible that he could just be lagging and that could have been an unfortunate ping spike. And then he just got shot in the back, like, I don't think he's cheating. Nice, run into the fire. His team is just like dismantling them, and he's barely done a thing. I'm gonna guess not cheating. The only thing he did that was suspicious was when he swung the person on kitchen window and got a headshot while aiming like two feet above their head. But that could be a match replay bug. That could also be a leg, uh, like bug. Uh, he has a 1.07 in ranked. He is now Emerald. I want to say that the jump is, you know, maybe leaning more towards cheating, but it is the new rank system. Like, the new rank system is so garbage. Like, he can go from Silver 5 with a negative KD to Emerald with a positive KD, and we can't even bat an eye at that because that's just how the new rank system works. I don't think he was cheating. And he's only 4 and 3. I think he is fine. I think that one wall bang where he immediately reported him kind of paints the picture that, like, he's not allowing other people to get, like, a lucky headshot. If they get a headshot like that, then they just assume cheating. 
when I feel like headshots like that happen a lot more often than people want to admit. In this match we have nrkp.wtc or twc who is accusing uh ah, and Bowden aimer so alibi and bandit okay they said i ah, was suspicious a little bit suspicious throughout the match and then Bowden only got suspicious when they swap sides so we don't have to watch Bowden. we'll just mainly watch ah. Going for the staircase peak. I fucking hate people who do this. He actually had an angle to get a kill there, and then as soon as he jumped out, the person became visible. And if he had just held that for a second longer, which if he was cheating, he would have known that they were about to come there, he could have got a free kill. Kind of look like a pre fire. That not as much. I say innocent, bro. It has been not even a minute into the first round. There's absolutely zero percent chance you can draw any conclusions from less than a minute of gameplay. Seemed weird to watch a drone until someone got on it. But maybe just being petty. You know, like, yeah, you watched me destroy the drone. Mm, Bowden died. He was the other accused person. Ah still has one Prisma in pocket. He is checking <clears throat> parts of the map where no one is. Makes him look more innocent. Seems to be a decent player. Again, this is round one. You cannot possibly make any conclusions off of one round. Was that a hip fire headshot flick? So he hip fire flicks the Finca, and then after doing that, uh, aims at the sledge through the wall at head level. Granted, they would know that sledge was over there because he just killed a teammate and you'd be able to hear it off sound. But we'll have to watch more. Because maybe he got a lucky hip fire. I had that happen with my Tachanka ace where I 180 uh, headshot someone off a of flick when I didn't really play too much of it off sound so it would probably look a lot more suspicious than it was. This fucking sound bug. There we go. That was a slow reaction time and he dies. I'll keep watching. I'm leaning more towards suspicious on that one. The hip fire headshot is... If legitimate, super, super lucky. Actually, I say super lucky as if I don't constantly get killed by hipfire headshots. Oh, he's already dead. What did he do? I think he's cheating. So, we'll, we'll go back a bit more just to be absolutely certain. So he goes on cameras and then doesn't see anything like look at where he's looking i don't think that's a replay bug 
that it's showing us that he's looking at nothing, but then he jumps out and is ready, but then whiffs everything and dies. I don't know, maybe there's a bug, maybe his camera was turned, or maybe maybe you can hear a lot more than I'm assuming on that camera, but the camera is here, and then Sledge was all the way over here. Like, that is, I don't think you can hear much from there. That is across the entire fucking map. But, we'll keep watching. Again, Bowden was more accused on the attack round, so we're not going to waste too much time watching him. We'll just watch it when it flips sides. I think I'll still play Tarkov today for second half of stream, uh, but I probably won't go too long because I am feeling tired. And I kind of want to save my energy for when I stream Breath of the Wild throughout the next week. I'm excited to play it. And I th hope it'll do well with chat. Which I guess this goes for the YouTube viewers watching this video on Wednesday. I'm going to try to stream a bunch of Breath of the Wild throughout the next week. Or maybe even two weeks, I don't know how long it'll take me. So I'll be streaming Siege and then Breath of the Wild after. And trying to beat the game. Currently, I'm planning on doing every other day Breath of the Wild. So, Breath of the Wild, then Tarkov, Breath of the Wild, then Tarkov. But I honestly might just do more Breath of the Wild than anything, because I think it'll be fun to play. This guy is just staring at nothing right now. He goes, like, one round, not suspicious. Next round, suspicious. Next round, not suspicious. He's just going back and forth. Failed the the confirm confirmation. Also, I could be crazy, but when he jumped out, it didn't look like he was like scanning to see to find them. It looked like he just knew where they were, but it's hard to tell. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like he looked past and then aimed down sight. reading too much into it. Am I playing Breath of the Wild to get ready for Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah. I'll probably stream that game when it comes out. Like, day one. That'll also be towards the end of the Siege season, so I have more freedom to just do whatever I want. Which we don't really know exactly when the new season's gonna be starting, or even the test server's gonna be starting, because, uh... Normally, the new seasons get announced at the Majors, but there's like 0% chance, I think, that the new season gets announced at the Copenhagen Major, because the Copenhagen Major is way earlier than normal. He died. Normally, the Major will be at the end of May, so then the new season gets announced like May 25th or something, and then Test Server goes live, and the new season comes out like June, second week of June. So there's no way they're going to announce the new season in the first week of May, which is when the Major is, and then have four weeks of test server, or have the new season come out super early. I don't think that happens. Looks like he's just playing uh, known angles and spots. The only... what was the one sus... oh yeah, the Finca hipfire headshot was like the one suspicious thing, but... And then the jump out was kind of weird. But yeah, maybe he's just playing off what he knows and it's just sometimes paying off, sometimes not. So, now that we're on the flip side, Bo Bowden Aimer got accused on attack because they said he was nading through the floor with zero intel. So, let's see how that goes. Solus already killed someone, so they know Solus is down here and they're trying to push. a known spot, right? Like, I 
feel like people know about that because it's the bomb. People always sit here behind bomb. I feel like that's known. And it's possible he could have heard at least one of them running around. So as dead. That was normal. Let's see what other grenade kills he's gonna get. His team is also clearly communicating well. Well, for sure, at least two of them, maybe three of them are together. I think he might be cute with the AI guy as well, but Bowden Aimer and Rund Aimer are obviously together. So it's easier for them to coordinate. And the Rund guy, I'm pretty sure, was not close to him, so... That if he's coordinating with other people, then yeah, clearly a coordinated team. At the very least, is making callouts in game. Oh no, he is with the run to aimer guy right now. They seem to be doing the same plays each time. And then gets his friend killed while he leaves. Yana's taking main stairs. Which means Sledge could... Oh, they reported ah for that. Let us watch. Doesn't even look like he realized that he downed them. He was just doing that to clear the stairs and then ran up and was like, oh shit, there's a down person. Bad nade. Gets the same guy again, but like he knew he was there. They literally shot at each other. So yeah, he just knows how to use nades, and the enemy team doesn't like that. Well, I, I'll, I'll say I had my suspicions of at the beginning because of uh, their runouts and some of their shots. I don't really think I'm really that suspicious of either of them right now. They're playing off contacts. They're playing off calls from teammates. Seems fine. This is where we are in Siege. Normal gameplay gets you reported. Yeah. I don't like to, to throw Priest under the bus when I say this, but I always use him as an example. When uh, back in like year... I guess it was like year four or five. Um, one time I was playing with Priest and he just talked about how after every game he just... Like if anyone killed him and he found it the least bit suspicious, he'd just report them. Didn't matter if they were actually cheating or if he... Uh, was just being petty. He's like, I'll just report everyone, and then Ubisoft can figure it out. I was like... And also, I, I don't mean, like, report, like, oh, we have a special contact who will get them banned. I mean, like, reporting in-game. So he just report every single person for cheating. Just be like, Ubisoft can figure out whether they're actually cheating or not. It's like, I feel like that's not a good system because you're just clogging the reports. So a lot of people do that. And I don't really blame them. Uh, there's one line that Kix always said that I um, always repeat, which is where he said uh, it makes sense that a lot of people just report everyone because when not too much is being done about cheaters in Siege, uh, it makes sense that people will just assume everyone who kills them is cheating. And if people are good at hiding cheats... It makes sense that uh, if you die and you're a little bit suspicious, you're going to be like, this person's probably cheating. 
So there's always going to be that doubt in your mind that like, yeah, this person killed me because they were cheating and not because they're a good player. It makes so much sense. People are just... After years of neglect from Ubisoft, people are on edge. Have my notifications on still to get one for your stream? I'm late as hell. Well, if it helps. I go live every single day except for Monday now at the exact same time. Noon Eastern Standard Time. Right now it is 1.11 Eastern Standard Time, so you can do the math. I'm always live every day at the same time unless I take a day off. Which my only scheduled day off every week is Monday, but sometimes I'll take an extra day off if I'm feeling not too great. Which today I'm not feeling great. My throat hurts. I feel like I'm getting a cold. Which I hope not because I still need to record console videos today. I wish I could tell how this guy's aim looked, but... Looks like I'm playing a fucking VR game. VR Siege. He, if he had managed to flick on the Jaeger, that would have been a, a win. I guess I can watch the rest, but I genuinely don't think either of these two are cheating. They accused, or they submitted the report on Ab uh, because he banked a grenade off the stairs and downed him, which not suspicious. And then this guy got a grenade kill through the floor of what I would assume is a fairly common spot. So I don't think they're cheating. I'll watch the last two rounds just in case. I was reporting reported for playing on high sense and console with controller. Enemy team genuinely believed I was playing with Zim because I learned how to flick with the sticks. Yeah, I remember that happened uh, on the R6 Twitter account. They posted a clip from a very good console player, and the entire community, creators and all, started posting about how it was a Zim player and they shouldn't be posting Zim clips. And then the kid had proof that he's a uh, controller player because he had clips of him with the controller in his hand or some shit. And everyone's like, oh, whoops. So, people just assume anyone who's better than them is cheating, whether it's on PC or on console. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say Orange wins the entire game. Just in case, let's watch how I got another kill. Man, this guy lives outside. Might as well be homeless, because he does not spend any time indoors. I've died to that run out. How he actually knew someone was out there, I, I, I don't know. You could, you'd be able to hear them running there. to me, but I'll play it back. Fuck. They need to fix that bug where when you rewind, people are just a ragdoll. That's getting pinged by an alibi. He shoots them as they swing the window. Last two people are over by dorm side. Oh my God. Every time this person shoots, it bugs out. I'm going to assume that the last two people probably take a long time to push up. He almost actually hit the person, or had the person land up directly through the wall, but... Probably wouldn't be hard based on calls. And they're getting pings as well, which I think that means that the default cam... Default cam is still up. 
That's crazy. And then he dies. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say not cheating. Next match. Clubhouse. We will try to go through these last two quickly because this is taking a long time. In this match, we have just a naked man who's accusing the Grognak. The Vigil on the enemy team. Please be cheating. They are, in fact, cheating. We've only had one person I'd say for sure was cheating, which was the that rad man, and then now this guy. The others have all not been cheating, which is actually a good thing. While it is a pain to watch through all those matches, it's a lot better that we have less cheaters than more. can't tell if he intentionally only hurt him a little bit so he wouldn't see the suspicious kill cam. Nope, he did not. He just sucked. He whiffed. I don't think we need to watch anymore, but... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's look up his stats. Sorry for the sound. He's already been banned. Alright. Fourth match done. Last match, Oregon. It says the match is submitted by Snuggy, but it's either submitted by Easy Dogs or Coconut. Well, he's not accusing himself. He's accusing Jatiz. So I'm assuming his friend Easy Dogs got him the match. But we have Snuggy accusing Jatiz. Also, apparently it's pronounced Sangi or Sangi. But probably submitted by their friend. This is not the most uncommon thing since a lot of people will just delete their, or not even look at their matches and then forget about it. And their friends will have the match still. First round, dead immediately. Did kind of look like he was looking at them through the wall and through that C4, just didn't expect them to pre-fire him. Or get ready for him. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, now he is he is full blatant now. Uh oh. He's running away. Bro, you're blatant. Are you possibly going to lose this? You can see where they are. And you have aimbot. He's still lost that? Damn. That is... That is tough. I'm going to guess that he's probably boosting the other Jatis. So if we go to the last round, I'm sure this guy probably has like 15 kills, and then the, his buddy probably has like zero kills. Yep. He is 8 and 5. Jatiz is. The other Jatiz is 1 and 2. Uh, also a cheater. Well, I think we were at like 58 minutes with the first three matches, and then we finished at 1 hour and 2 minutes with all five matches. So the last two were very easy for us to watch. But that is hacker replay for today. So that's number 95. Like I said at the beginning, maybe I'll do a, a like goal for number 99. And if we get enough likes, then I'll wear the sexy cop outfit again. But uh, we'll see. We'll see.